Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to uh, use an example that came across uh, my desk the other day. And I'm going to call it Home Theater Nightmare. Because this is exactly what it is. It's a nightmare. Let's look at the setup. We have end walls, left, center, and right. Okay, nothing wrong with that setup comp. But look at the corners. We have 12 12 inch drivers, six on each side, in the corners. Think about that. The area of highest pressure in the room. You're going to put a high pressure producing device that's low frequency oriented. Speaker company says we have software that tackles any room acoustic treatment issue. There's no treatment required in the room. Now, this is what the customers told me. I don't know if the manufacturer makes that claim. I hope not. But I've heard crazier things out there. No treatment necessary. So the software can correct all room acoustic issues. That's interesting. So what you're going to do is you're going to man manipulate the energy that come out, comes out of the speakers to compensate for room acoustical issues. Really? Does that make sense to anyone out there? Because once that energy leaves the speaker, the room owns it. So you're going to control the amplitude and frequency of the energy to match the poor acoustics of the room? Does that really make any sense? You don't need to have a technical background to understand that that's just nonsense. Okay, software is supposed to correct all the issues. Let's look at the issues the client's having. There's many. Speakers sound flat. Okay, well, maybe he doesn't have the software adjusted correctly. Dialogue, voice is not clear and defined. When there's car crashes and explosions, he can't hear any dialogue. What's that? That's the reverberation tail. There's too much energy in the room. The, the modal impacts uh, at certain frequencies are masking voice, the explosions, a lot of energy. Then you have a little bit of energy with dialogue. You can't hear the voice because the modes are still active in the room. What happened to the speakers controlling all that? What happened to no acoustic treatment needed? Lots of vibration from the subs. Really? <laughs> you have 12 12 inch drivers in the corner of the room. And you have lots of vibration. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, people. Have drop off in the base at the listening position. What is that? That's a modal issue. If you treat the room for modal issues, you don't have those kind of dry spots within the room. What happened to the software that's supposed to tackle any room acoustic issue? Is it not working correctly? It can't. I go through this all the time with churches. Speaker manufacturers tell churches that have high reverberation problems that if they buy their speaker system, it just focuses the energy on the congregation and it'll lower the reverberation times in the room. Nonsense. Nonsense. All a speaker can do is control the directivity, the radiation pattern of it. Once that energy leaves the speaker, the room owns it. You got to start understanding that. Huge drop on bass at the listening position. Move forward two feet. He's got some bass impact. What does that tell you? Room modal issues. No treatment needed? I thought the software was supposed to tackle that. What's going on here? Here's the problem. We can't fix it. There's no room for treatment. Look at the photos. Where are we going to treat this? And this person really made a lot of effort to produce a, a theater that's nice, uh, pleasurable to, to sit in. He's got lighting in the ceiling, start kind of lighting with LEDs. So he's, he's made extra effort. But he's violated all the principles about essence. And let's look at those. So you got form, right? Form. 
plus substance equals essence. I can't write like this. Good form, no substance. 12, 12 inch drivers in the quarter? That's wrong. It's just wrong from so many levels. I, I, I wouldn't have time to do a video on why it's so wrong. And now you see what's going on. No speaker system can control the room acoustic. The sooner you realize that, the sooner you won't have these mistakes. He didn't plan to fail. He just didn't plan accordingly. It's sad. There's nothing we can do to help him. He's got to basically gut this room and start all over. And what a shame. What a shame to spend that kind of money and not get and get these kind of results. Well, maybe the software engineers need to go back to work. They could work all day and night. It's still not going to fix the room acoustics. It just can't happen. Home theater nightmare. I see it every day. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.